clubs and stuff. I've never heard it was a music venue, but hey, yeah, okay. well, I, I can vibe with that. Hey, they own the place. They can do what they want. Exactly. Uh, Liz and her songs. I have it right here. I know it sounds so natural, doesn't it? <laughs> Liz and her songs are also part of the Black Poetry Theater Company. Yes. And we didn't cover that the last time, so I want you mm. to promote that. Okay, Black Poetry Theater Company is a theater company started by my two very, very good friends, um, Church the Poet and Hassan Hanu. And they are they are amazing, amazing, amazing folks. Um, and they put together this theater company, they put on a lot of different um, pieces throughout the year. Uh, the one that I participated in was like their pr primary piece, which is called Black Poetry, aptly named, since it's, the, it's what the theater company was named after. And it's kind of like... They take six different lives, six different viewpoints, and through spoken word, dance, and music, they kind of express different viewpoints of, of, of life, traversing the darkness into the light. And it's really cool because it, they call it black poetry because it's half of it is written in the dark. So the poetry is. In. So it's not an ethnic thing. Well, uh, yes, right. Um, that, that would make it very strange. <laughs> that is true. You got me there. Yeah, yeah. No, I, actually, that's that's um, one of the things that I do uh, get a lot of questions. I mean, they do have um, a couple of uh, pieces um, that are about history and, and all that. But uh, for the most part, it's, it's more about internal struggles that everyone faces. And this is a very, very beautiful piece. Right. So, not just because I'm in it. I mean, I'm a really big fan of all the poets involved. And, yeah. So, and, okay. Um, and... and uh, do you have a short piece for us or anything that you, a poem? Because you are a poet. Yes, I, I do. You can I, claim that now, right? I, I guess I can. Okay. I have a hard time because I know so many amazing poets. I really, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Uh, so, but um, I, 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 I can do, okay, how's this? The next piece is kind of like a half song, half poem. I'll do that. Okay, great, great. You're your own worst critic, by the way, because you're probably really good and you're just hard on yourself. <laughs> Okay, let's break it down. Let's break let's it down. Break it down. down. That is still the name of your upcoming CD. Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, well, how close are you? Mm. Okay, so we're pretty close. We're pretty close. We are getting to the end of wrapping up what I call the base. Because what we do is, what the schedule that Scott and I uh, came up with is that we're going to lay each instrument down at a time for the entire record. Um, and then after we your position, so you know, after we've done the basics, you know, drum, bass, guitar, piano, vocals, then we get to add all the sprinkles, so that the cra the tracks don't sound like trying to texture. overcome. Texture. Yeah, texture. Yeah. Texture. texture. So we're, we're just about, we just finished the piano, um, the bass, um, and so I think after after this we just have guitar tracks to do, which we do in one session, it's a matter of getting our schedules together, and the vocals, yikes. <laughs> and then we're going to bring in, I have a, a friend of mine, Zach, coming in to do some beatboxing on there, so it's going to be so awesome. Um, uh, a friend of mine, Tom Day, is going to be on harmonica, so cool. we're, getting, we're getting there, we're getting close. I predict that by the end of the year, we should be nearing like, the last final touches, if not mixing, by then, hopefully. You're going to do a little bit of CD to the station. Absolutely. You're going to sign one for me? Yes, absolutely. Because I know you're going to be famous, right? You're famous now, at least for the next two or three minutes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, so let's close it out. Oh, okay. wait a second. Uh, www.lizhmusic.com. And, and the vlog. I'm, I'm taping this right now because I'm going to vlog it. Um, the vlog is at youtube.com slash lizmusic. Okay. L-I-Z-H music. And then there's MySpace. And then see, there's the MySpace. Liz Music. Liz H music. Uh, Liz H music. Yes. Yes. MySpace.com slash Liz music. Liz with an H. H. <laughs> and when you hit that H, hit it hard. Yeah, because ah, oh, but H. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm sorry. That's a discouraging word. I'm sorry. Okay. F A is going to be knocking down the door oh, here in a second. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, what is it you're going to play for me? Oh, oh, uh, or so you us. know, hmm. well, I can play a song or I can do that poem, poem. Yes. Did you do it last time? No, you? I didn't. Okay. It would be new. It's singing. There's singing in it. I just haven't written, um, got down to the keyboard to make down all the, the music. Um, it's called Greenhouse Love. A lot of my poet family has heard it numerous times, so they all know it. Um, but it's one of my favorite pieces. Okay. So Liz, Liz H. Closing it out. Thanks a lot, Liz. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Paul.
So you suppose you know no rose ever rose in my garden, regardless of the heart of it, and that my touch knows no beauty, and that my gaze only hardens it. You see me toil and soil, spoiling my dexterous fingers with no proof that my thumb is green. You don't know for who it is I paint my pottery, and if I ever have rose and roses, it's because I won the lottery. But let me tell you something, okay? Because no game of gamble could ever give you what I have at home. And I'm not alone. You gardeners out there know that love is homegrown. I keep roses by my bedside. So my mornings, they always smell sweet. A cactus flower in the shower, far from the desert. I keep daisies in the kitchen So the sun rays, they hang over my sink I got that greenhouse kind of love, baby That greenhouse kind of love Because I rescued my rosebuds from the moonlight In all its helpless romantic phases The light's just not enough It never shines in the right places Yup, just a bluff. No, not enough of the sun, just its reflective traces. You see, I nurture them where the sun don't leave, the where the outside flowers do in the fall. Behind our four walls, because of you. Yes, you, your light shines so bright that night never arrives. Height never declines, and our hindsight leaves the blind spite of the divided lines of their outside lives. And no, I will not expose my rose to their pesticides, because we live in our own Eden. And they can call us heathens or up and at them and get even. It's only a matter of time before I grapple a snapple apple made of the best stuff on earth. But I know my worth. And in this crazy world, in this house of two-way mirrors, what they really see is themselves. And that open space is their personal gem. Gossip and fuss, cause you must cuss on them rough nights in life. When I'm with my baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Greenhouse love. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. There you go. Talent, beauty, smarts, and a potty mouth. Oh, yeah, I was <laughs> Sorry, I'm so sorry. You can, you can see her on Wednesday, September 16th, a week from today. Yes, 8 sir. to 11 at the Marvel Event Center. Showtime is at 9. But the doors open at 8. At 8. You get the dollar off if you come at before eight. you. Between 8 and 9. That's right. That's a dollar. Mm -hmm. You have been listening to the West End Report on WCOM LP, General Carborough, 103.5 FM. You're listening to support at all volunteer radio stations. I am Paul Weiss. Thanks for listening, and uh, Free Speech Radio is coming up next. <laughs>